I keep on telling people hakuna mtu huiba gari hajui in Kenya especially these modern cars akina Axio akina Fielders as long as the car is from 2010 huwezi yamka hapa uende uibe gari umepata pale kwa parking useme akaka kuiba ile gari hapa Murik doesn't happen now they have increased the uh, import duty ya magari umefika 35% hey, kama una 1.35 what Honda Fit 1.4 1.35 there basically to own a good car in Kenya you have to be a millionaire Welcome guys to Pamrick Show and uh, today is an awesome uh, siku safi sana tumeweza kufikia mkuu wetu wa hii industry ambaye jina yake ni Eric Kabi with a CK <laughs> and uh, he is an amazing guy na leo nimefika kwa center yake hapa Waterfront Mall whereby nimeona mpaka kuna magari masafi safi umeleta institution umeijenga vizuri kabisa Yani this one is awesome. Nikikwambia ni mentor wetu unakubali tu you can see how you have made this industry become a bigger industry. So leo tuko hapa and we need to know about Eric atuambie mambo ya car auto select. Na pia atujibu maswali hapa na pale yenye watu wamekuwa kiniuliza pale. Hebu uliza Eric na mwambie tukimleta kwa show atatujibu. So Eric Welcome sana. Asante sana. Tuambie sasa how we go about this. Kwanza 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 before to say nani it, it has been nakumbuka tulikuwa na Pamiric kwa show moja kali sana. Mwezi ya mwezi ilikuwa mwezi wa 5. Mwezi wa 5. Eh na mwaka imekimbia. Eh dio idiza baba. Mwaka tumeanza kuingia kwa mwezi ya mashere. <laughs> ile <laughs> ile mwezi ya watu wanataka kununua gari. By the way during this month na hapa na maneno ya auction bado tunauliza ngo maswali. Absolutely. Yeah. Lakini naona kwa unawajibu but saa nyingine unaona kama ya gava. Ya gava ndio iko na kau kauzuri kidogo na ubaya mingi pale. Na tena sasa auction ya gava na ni limited. It's very limited. You mostly na run kutoka um, January mpaka July. July yes. You before budget is so much you are leaving hizo magari. Mm-hmm. Alafu sasa upate waweza kutoa budget ya new vehicles na zingine unapata zimemaliza ile lease period zingine zimemaliza maybe 6 years you ukipata watu kama parasta to mingi lazima ile lease magari yes so unapata between that period the auction was in a run mm. so kama saa hii kuanzia january mpaka mwezi wa sita government auction zikapaa bingi sasa kutoka hapo kuna kauka kwa za moja 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 tu but hizi zingine za private za kama inaitwa nini kama hapa Kiambuo Road mm. ziko hizo zinaendelea mbogo ziko ziko huko ni mizo yani unapata gazeti wamepewa gazeti mzima eh wafanye auction Eric ndio unajino yani singine nauliza ni watu wanabeba loan yenye mawezi ama si cha nini personally eh? nafikiria mambo ya hizi loans ni watu hawasomi terms sabu kiangalia auction za bank mm. na auction za za bank repossessed na hizo za za uto tu akina these other institutions that give logbook loans uh. unajua hasa za bank magari ni kidogo lakini za hizi logbook loans ni mo, unajua loan loan unalipa 5% per month interest ni kidogo na kuna zingine zinaenda ikienda juu ezikienda ikienda juu bana hey. Anyway that is a story for one. Hiyo ni story tunafaa tukitnae yeah. chini tuambia watu kuyo. Unaona vile watasaidia. Eh, yeah. sababu so, people are people are losing money. Pale gazeti mzima mimi nili, nilisoma 100 vehicles zina auctioniwa especially mogo. Ukiona nikaenda paka huko kwa yard nikaziangalia gari mpya mpya KD what KDA KDC. Unaona mtu aliyekaa na gari miaka mbili. Wacha hata miaka mbili. Eh? People hata six months. Inaenda because you know assuming you get a car you mefinance au wamekupatia kama 1400 si ndio they have so many other costs then after that they charge you 5% per annum most of those institutions uh-huh. so kumaanisha 
interest only kwa mwaka ni 60% of the value the value of the car okay so mm. you basically only you need to lipa unaona mtu analipa aishi aishi haiwezi isha ai haiwezi <laughs> isha watazaidika aje na wasikie ile kibwana mnawaambia same save as you save unaona haza yes ai sai hata ku savings i think basically when your economy iko kuna mashida mingi sana za za, za financial yeah. but i think also us kenyans like getting easy things jp before upewe loan na bank wanakuanga wame wamekufanyia yeah, due yeah, diligence yeah, lakini yeah. watu wanakuambia we only need a logbook ai hawataki hata witness hawataki yeah. anything why is it very easy for them but very hard for banks and circles kama they are targeting your people Wewe sema hivyo lakini hey, lakini you see you you wonder where, where is the motive motive iko wapi cuz those are unrealistic interest rates uh, mm. and your man una wacha ta magari nyingi now every now and then magari zinaenda eh hey, zinaenda especially wakulima wadogo na um, insurance i, i, mwenye analipa kama ile comprehensive insurance sasa huyo niambie uh, sasa si ai si venuas eric hawa so, hata wasaidia so <laughs> <laughs> eric yes let me take you back what is your motivation in this uh, in your life in this industry mi motivation yangu ni kupenda magari it's basically love for cars kila aina kila kila gari you know the good thing about cars is that every car is interesting in its own way the moment you you're curious in how how does it go what a, uh, basically first of all is in this industry you have to be very passionate if you are not passionate you know most of these people think it's very easy wanafikiria youtube ina lipa sana youtube i tunatumbiane ukweli in fact if you if you if you start content thinking that it's going to pay if kiriati utakuja tu upate pesa yani ah uh, umepotea you will be frustrated i know you can tell them you will be frustrated yeah ni kweli ni monetization unaangalia hata dola isoki bana weekly earnings hakuna yani hata iwezi kufuel sa hivi haiwezi so ni passion inafanya ya magari the driving force yeah so for me for me it's all about basically as a human mimi nachukia kufanya kitu inanibo <laughs> so mimi mimi sipendi sipendi ati ni, napenda kitu challenge so magari what is coming up so ni pia ni industry lazima ukae ukiwa in the no, in the loop every new, every day there is new technology you have to read about it as a patana huko na huko mtu mtu akuuliza swali eh i expect to na expect unajua So it's challenging in a way that you have to be lazima ukuna. I love tena you know once you know something doesn't mean that you do not have room for the other information ya magari za kitambo. Yes. So you have to have everything and the other thing is hakuna mtu anajua kila kitu. So you must learn every day is a learning process. Na ile siku utaacha kukuwa curious. So assuming kama wewe If, if, I, if I think about auctions mimi nafikiriana kuhusu nani somebody mimi mimi waje nikwambie mimi ku follow up sijui auction ya gani na kuja siku gani naenda kuona ah hapana mimi niambie hii gari ni auction twende tuiamshe hiyo sasa itanifurahi that, that is now na kila mtu wako na, na, na vitu za everybody has a stronghold for instance pamiric is is even me if i want to get something from an auction i'll call alcohol family nitampigia simu niombe unasikia aje kuna mali mali umesikia so everyone has a field the same same way kuna watu wako na video za za ajabu ajabu huko nje kuna watu wengine bado wanafanya content ya there is all sorts of content real estate mm. mimi sasa mimi gari kununua ni ngumu sana unioshe kununua gari lakini mimi ikifika mambo ya mashamba niko nje hapo uweze ikadisha hapo niko nje eh hapo niko nje udauma nje kabisa ah mimi stories I, i i do not like land transactions eh. i do not like na manyumba hata manyumba bana hivi 
Mimi nyumba wacha nijenge hapa. Abredo maya kwa niambia hey vile anaangalia Eric ana describe gari hizi detail anasema yani ulizaliwa pale magari ziko kayad. Background <laughs> background <laughs> yangu eh? is is uh, well I siwezi sema basically si tulikuwa exposed na magari because it was not really siwezi ita okay kulikuwa na magari kwa familia kitu ilifanya tuendelee hapo ni kuwa ni kuwa being curious about cars na kumbuka my grandfather alikuwa na Peugeot 404 ilikuwa KLQ 809 sijai sahau na hiyo gari ilikuwa na mashida ilikuwa gari fiti sana lakini kuna wakati ingeleta shida bana so tulikuwa tumejua hiyo gari hadi tunajua wenye tunajua ku kuifuata by the way tunajua nini inaleta ina shida kila kitu, kila kitu. tulikuwa naijua juu sasa we would we would find even my my own dad wana repair kuna mzai nini nini inafanyanga nini inafanyanga nini tukaanza kupewa valves to see again unajua kifunga engine wewe una siaganga valve so you see when you are young ilikuwa inakaa kama ni kitu kitu very very fun kitu ya kujibamba tu so you come knowing two three things unaona gari ingine uh, actually mimi zile gari za kwanza nilikuwa exposed to ni pujo 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 44 504 46 ndio naona hata kwa yard kuna Peugeot 3. <laughs> so <laughs> bigger za kwanza nilijua fit zilikuwa Peugeot. Uh, Then uh, tawata zikaanza kuingia. Unakuwa curious too you learn something today you learn something tomorrow. Na one thing and this is what makes Toyota very very even very popular in the world. It is very easy to understand Toyota. Engine compartment model. Up. Very simple cars even models. Because everything is always done in a chronological order. Kwa Toyota. Kwa Toyota. Angalia kila kitu wakitoka premium 240 wanaenda 260. Na ina take time. It takes time. For Toyota now what, what, what they do is kuna kitu wanaita lean production. Mm. Or Kaizen, Kaizen is continuous improvement. Kama sasa engine kama ya say Probox, the Probox, the Fielder, the Lactis and ziko na 1NZ. One NZ has been there since the year 2000, 2000 and something. I think it should be 2000, early 2000s. Had this I 2023 one NZ bado iko kwa in production. Lakini imefanyika nini? Wame change water pump, wame change vitu kadha kadha tu. Mm. So unaona ni kitu it has been there for a while. So hata mechanic wa 1970 1999 hata e, hawezi <laughs> kuwa nje like <laughs> unajua kuna you see like for european vehicles mm. haya kuna gari unaweza kuwa nayo sai ya ya 90 say 19 early 90s mm. love upo gari you, you literally everything there is Yeah, utapotea yeah, yeah. utapotea engine compartment ya BMW <laughs> hapa <laughs> hapa kibu kila nini yani ifunguliwa tu hivi yote in fact these days we need less of mechanics i do nahitaji watu wengi wakue electrical technicians ali tumefika but anyway it's all in understanding vehicles pia lazima ukue passionate juka nilikuwa nafosiwa kuzielewa si ya nilikuwa nimeshadau unajua hata mimi naambia anga wase nikiwaambia kitu nilifanya university wanashangaa sana. Haikuhusu magari ama ah, ilikuwa hapa ilikuwa mbali sana na magari. Ifa kitu ilikuwa ni to agri business. Agri <laughs> business. Eh bana lakini sasa unajua unaingia pale unajua hii kitu. Chukua do for the sake. Umalize at least kufanya networking pale tu. Eh ukupata exposure. Unajua umeenda campus exposure. Wewe unajua Deep, najua si tuki grow up ungeambia ungeambia hata mzazi unamwambia mimi nataka kufanya anything car related naomba wewe bana wewe ndio wewe so wewe unasoma ufanye kikua account ata ma daktari zile naona unaleta makanga nyumbani eh unaleta zile leta makanga unamwambia you know for us you are being told utakosa kumaliza shule ukuwe mechanic you no know, people thought being eh, without being a mechanic is a dirty job but being a mechanic is actually a very lucrative Eh yeah, being a mechanic sasa na mimi nikapata mtu anambia nataka kuwa mechanic na mwambie unataka tools gani? Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Ah, wani market ime change hadi mechanic itakuwa What yes. has happened? I think people <coughs> and this is a problem with our society. Utaambia mtoto wako kitu ni mbaya lakini uone mbali. 
you know how there was there was a limited supply for mechanics venye tu sasa hivi unaona mechanics walikuwa wanatengeneza gari za carburetor walikataa ku evolve after EFI oh, watu wakaanza kusema EFI ni mbaya sima automatic ikakuja wakasema automatic ni mbaya in fact right now there are more automatic vehicles than manuals that is true so there will always be a change and the only way to survive uh, as a mechanic kwa industry ni kuchange sasa hivi watu wanafaa kuwa nafanya research kuhusu hybrids Uh, kuhusu EVs electric vehicles sababu sasa we must move with time kama hasa unataka kuniambia mechanic amezoea kutengeneza four ways a Toyota which were very simple engines mm. umpelekea Toyota Aqua ama Prius hybrid kwanza uh, ujue hiyo gari haina master cylinder inatumia some other actuator that is very complicated so if you have not done your homework itakuwa ngumu itakuwa ngumu aku discourage kununua gari eh, kama hizo eh eh tena kombi gari ni mbaya kombi gari ni mbaya juzi kutengeneza eh ni kama Nokia vile ilikataa ku evolve na Android na Android what happened acha nyuma asa by the time wana recover it will take time it has taken time so industry unaona kuniambia hatuwezi kuwa na enough mechanics tukuwa flooded lazima wacha nikuambie walimu watakosa kazi we oh, watu wengine wakosana kazi wase wa, wa BA bachelor of arts bachelor of arts wa kosana kazi sana hiki ndio inaanza BBAT au watu wanakosanga kazi bcom watu ukosa kazi lakini mechanic mechanic hata hata ukitokea tu utembe as long as you have tools kama hasa nikuulize pamoja huko na gari we break break pad kiangusha utaweza kubadilisha sasa kumbe ni maji ya kawa sasa ni bwana dhani mimi nilitita imechapa eh even ni mepanic see now that is what happens sasa naona wenyewe the industry iko na iko na actually it's a it's a multi billion industry right now angalia wase wa parts kwa hivyo pale kirenyanga rudi kifungo leo Kenya will feel an impact we na kuko hivi Kirenyaga Road Kirenyaga Road utai kosa ukienda after 9 am utapata parking kweli wewe pata parking So right now mtoto aikwambia anataka kuwa mechanic it is your job to empower them unataka kuwa mechanic kwa nini sasa hii usikuwa mtu wa kuinua wa ku adjust brakes na kuwa ah ah kuwa mechanic mtu wana deal na common rail is a diesel nozzles turbos hybrid units hiyo yeah. hata la ila la nja with the change in the market change in the market alafu you see right now information is very much available pamiri unaweza kuwa unajua basics then you start specializing using what is available on the internet kuna vitu zinaitangwa repair manuals kuna vitu zinaitangwa they are repair manuals they are user manuals so kuna repair manuals hadi zinakuambia hii gari kiharibika kitu fulani unafanya a b c d lakini wameandika na japanese ziko za English ukiingia kwa ya, kwa, kwa internet ziko unaweza pata PDF ya hiyo ya hiyo ya, 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 ya Honda Insight unaipata <laughs> utaipata niambie ni kutumie ni kutumia PDF eh zaidi so Eric why do Kenyans love Japanese vehicles what is not about Japanese reliability simplicity and also you see Japanese The Japanese vehicles are popular and they are built well because they are built simple they are not like European vehicles European vehicles are too complicated. Mm. Any other Japanese vehicles you will find that kuna zenye si mzuri sana lakini they are still people have an idea on how to work on them. You get the, the changes on Japanese vehicles are not as drastic as the changes on European vehicles kama ime change si sana si sana unaweza configure eh yeah. unaweza pata huwezi potea sana yeah. unajua kama hasa if, assuming your somebody is driving a BMW 7 series 
sai ya 2016 na mtu anaendesha Toyota Crown ya ya 2016 kuna sauti itatoka kwa Toyota Crown na ujue hii hi ni kitu fulani sasa BMW yuko na electronics zenye si watu wengi wanaelewa inaweza kuwa ime okay Toyota Crown inaweza fanya kitu na ifike nyumbani BMW utaenda ukose kuweka ile nozo ya tire pressure mzuri ikuletee era ya tire pressure monitoring na gari ingie limp mode huko tire pressure ziko ziko zina sense ziko na tire pressure monitoring ziko more advanced to that level eh hata brake pad wea sensor unaweza enda u change brake pads lakini you change brake pad wea sensor what happens gari itasoma tu era ya ABS itaingia limp mode But Toyota Crown hata ukienda uwekewe bricks pale kwa roadside brake pads. Mm. Wewe uko sawa? Unajua <laughs> tu kufinya finya jaze uko sawa? <laughs> Meaning you don't have to go to hawa tunaita to dealers ama specialized specialized mm. kama BMW Mercedes Benz. Exactly you don't have to. You don't have to. Oh what I love. Oh, hii ni gari mtu ako na a simple idea anaweza kupeleka nyumbani. And these were Japanese cars I loved. Assuming uko na gari, nataka kutumia gari yenye eh uh, tucheze na Pro Box. Ile siku utaona VW Touran imebeba mira. Ujue, ujue sasa tumefika mahali you know mahali hizi gari zinaanza kuwa usable to even normal people lakini probox is probox ada ikienda what is you know what is the worst that could happen to a probox ada kabla i know king wewe ni mtu very careless unless unatembeza gari kama oil ni mbaya ama you know like the simplicity in japanese cars yeah. is what makes them a favorite to me so unapata hata kama kama the owner of the car unaweza angalie hivi engine na uone maybe ni kitu ime imeachilia ime eh na uangalie na ucheze nayo kiasi unaweza cheza nayo na gari kufikisha nyumbani at the same time tunazipenda baterika zinaibiwa sana hazio zi filter ndio azikai shinda ni wana i i keep on saying gari yote ukiona kitu inaibiwa kitu ni mzuri wewe <laughs> ushaga mtu akiiba kitu mbaya bado lazima uje achukue kitu yenye ni poa exactly iko na demand ama iko na demand kitu hawezi kuwa na demand kama ni mbaya i keep on telling people hakuna mtu huiba gari hajui in kenya especially these modern cars akina axio akina fielders as long as the car is from 2010 huwezi yamka hapa uende uibe gari umepata pale kwa parking useme nataka kuiba ile gari hapa murik doesn't happen Meaning ni mtu amekuwa akikuchunguza ameku na hata akiiba anajua vizuri sana huyu jamaa saa hii hayuko karibu eh eh juu zingine gari inatoroka kwa parking na ikiamuka haiko because let me ask you pamuric huh? ushaisikia muizi ameiba gari alafu imeenda 10 km imeharibika lazima akuwa na juu ile gari anaiba ni mzuri ha. they can't know by just looking at it akichukua na yeye mpaka mwa yale hayuko sure huwezi research hata kama si mabeshte sana sana unaenda car wash unapatia mtu funguo unamuonyesha kaka utinakuanga wapi you wewe ile time unaenda kukunywa zako mbili gari ikiosha au kula kanyama wewe jamaa kuna time ya kwenda ku reprogram ki hiyo hiyo umeongelelea sana 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 kwa kila conversation hiyo hiyo una na watu wanauliza maswali nobody steals a car they do not know i'll tell you that for sure ile time watu walikuwa wanaiba magari hawajui ni the early 90s wakati it was very easy to steal a car yeah. sasa hii pamiric gari naibiwa hadi mchana nataka kuniambia mtu wako na guts yeah. za kuiba gari mchana ni mtu wako very sure about that vehicle na bet definitely si mtu ana struggle kufungua hiyo gari. Solution. Solution there, there are very few things that you can do. Number one, do not give full access to your car to just anyone. 
you know that is one of them secondly kuna kuna vitu zinaweza read frequency ya kifungua Uh, there are things that can intercept. Unajua sasa hata ukiwa na kiko mvuko ina emit some frequency yeah. some signals. Ndio yeah. maana ukikaribia gari inajua hiyo ni kifungua yangu mm-hmm. because it's going with na frequency flani. So what you do kuna mifuko some to to pockets unaweka yenye hai allow it all your frequency. Ni okay. yeah. kama prove ya signal tu yes. cover hapo. Na hivi ndio wetu na zingine ni lazima uweke kifungu funguo ndani. Hata ukiweka kifungu si inakuanga na chip ndani. Ah. Mm. Si kifungu tu. Gari yenye unafunga tu as long as hata hiyo kifo biko na kitu inaza trigger central locking it normally has a chip hapo ndani. Gari za kukatia funguo ziliisha kitambo sana. Ah. Na hata ndio mtu wakata kifungu ya gari yako si lazima kuwa kuna funguo. Eh hey. na maybe ulikaa mahali for some time na kaenda atakata na uh, chap chap So there is there is no one unasikianga gari sana sana kwa to central unasikia gari watu walienda mazishi gari limeingia Na unashindwa mtu ameibaje gari during in broad daylight Huyo ni mtu wa kubahatisha ati alikuwa anapita ameona haya hii gari ya pamuri kina cup watu ibe Hapana doesn't work like that ina wamekufuata Wa, na si au oh, kuanza kufuata hiyo siku lakini ikienda haiwezi patikana Eric nao tusijasikia gari jibio imepatikana most of them zina you know most of them zina kata cut off na ndaina gereja siku ya siku siki okay siki si zote zinafika huko there are so many places you can sell car parts serikali yeye saidie hapo nda defend serikali kwa sababu eh assuming gari ya yangu imeibiwa hapa imeenda imekata kato sasa nani ataenda kutafuta utaenda kutafuta roof zema hii ilikuwa gari fulani si au wenye wanauza wako registered na wewe spare part actually mse mzuri wa spare anafaa kupatia ITR Aikubatia yeah, ITR yeah. si unajua hiyo definitely huyo ni mtu ame import hizi vitu zake ama kuna papers za hizi vitu zake kama engines engines ukibeba si lazima ukinunua nyingine lazima upewe yeah, papers yeah. documents zenu unaweza enda upeleke NTSA ufanya change of particulars so ni kuja ununua engine kutoka kwangu ni kuambia sina documents yeah hiyo unavaa kwa na question mark eh yeah, fa kwa na question mark hii kitu imetoka wapi And you see the law says even if you get an engine from a donaka mm. ni vizuri uende na logbook ya hiyo donaka as part of the documents za change of particulars na ifanyiwe tape lift uone kweli hii engine number ndio uh. iko wapi kwa hii gari nyingine ndio imetolewa ikawa yako hapa na ukiuzia mtu mwingine pia document unampea unampea unafaa kumpatia pale kwa NTSA si watafanya hizo changes kwa logbook itaonyesha it prints another logbook uh-huh. in iko na hiyo engine number sasa uh-huh. so what will happen is hata ukiuzia mtu si utamuuzia tu na ile logbook they are supposed actually to print you another logbook hiyo nani mrembo nataka topic yake ya kuelezea step by step hadi kubadilisha rangi Yes, sikuizi mtu anabadilishanga rangi na anatembea tu na gari. You don't know how risky it is. Bila kuweka kufanya change of particulars. Unapata gari kuwa white sa ni black ama black red. Ama red. Ni big deal. It's a, it's a very big deal. In fact, ni crime uko umeenda na hiyo gari na haijafanywa change of particulars. Because you are concealing the identity of the vehicle. Nafaa pale hiyo gari ikifanya kitu nafanya search. Naona hiyo gari ni ya green ni ya pamuric. So ukipaka rangi gari ukiweke another color peleka gari tip lift alafu u apply for change of particulars inspection in TSA. Color ni the same na wenye wanaweka hiyo rap. Hata rap. You know people watu hawaelewi story ya rap. Rap can only be used for temporary branding. Kama za gari inaenda hizi magari zinanga road show ama siasa. Ama siasa uweke rap temporarily 
but hii gari yako ni yawe tunaweka rap ya green the day that guy is involved in in a crime or something ama uende uguze mtu then statement isemekana hiyo gari iliguza ni ya green lakini logbook yako inasema gari ni yako ni ya white what? it conceals the identity of the vehicle and that is basically a crime gari lazima ikuwe na a dominant color Wajua watu wanasikianga hii sheria wanafikiria enza matatu pekee. Hata personal vehicles. Wait until si unaona hii number plate mpya imetoka. Uh-huh. Ukienda uscan si unapata details za gari na ni ya rangi gani. Bila hata kuingia the new generation plate una scan tu. Eh. So the woman wakuja ni scan nimeona hii gari by then ya blue. Una mimi na wewe plate inasaidia ama it is helping in a way. Ama ni pesa wanatupulia sijui. <laughs> Mina as I in as much as it, it was not done you know if it was truly a, go, a good government initiative mm. the fees that the number plate mbia zinafaa kuwa subsidized 1500 thou mpaka sasa hivi jachukua mimi watu wa deadline eh ikiwa imebaki miezi mbili ndio ndio utaanza ku apply yeah thou that ni kula kula eric eh Ruto ameamua to drive EV vehicles, eh? motorbikes. Sasa hii kama hata taxes za ku import and EV vehicles iko chini. Do you think in our lifetime ama in the current market, in the current Kenyan economy, ama people's perspective, EV for Kenyan roads? We are still very far from achieving electric mobility in Kenya. Hmm? Nimeona watu wa Luthi hao wa TikTok wana amaizusha walipewa hizo pikipiki za zichajabu wamepandishiwa recharging fees double mimi walikuwa wanalipa 70 sasa ni 150 na kweli iko karibu so mbili na huko so wanaanza kushusha wameleta shinda walikuwa wanarudisha pikipiki do you think it's uh, economic very for money and economical especially for our kitu mimi na, 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 naona ni we have ra, we rushed they are good especially for town service they are good mm. but we we still need infrastructure that is well done mm. we need also technical support sasa hivi unaendesha EV kiharibika utapeleka wapi ni battery tu unataka ni nini there are batteries there are, there are there are motors there are drive trains Sasa one of the market anawaambia hii gari haichangii oil. Sasa hii bike haina oil. Kachumba haina ya filter. Ina nini? Actually the true the true this electric vehicles should ideally be cheaper to maintain. But you look at other factors. Like they still have parts that are going to wear out. Then in case a battery module fails ama those computers that we, we do not have it's not as easy as plug and play mm-hmm. we need somebody who understands those vehicles very well kuna wakati hapa tu waterfront mm-hmm. si unajua tuko na charging station pale an electric vehicle came to charge kuweka mm-hmm. hapo ku plug hainge charge kwa nini hainge charge alikuwa ame drive hiyo gari hadi ikaenda below 5% hiyo gari imekunywa moto hadi imekunywa kwa hii auxiliary battery So what happens? Ndiyo hizo ndiyo the computers unajua inatumia kitu inaitwa CAN. Ndiyo iweze kuallow hiyo gari ku charge. Like lazima iko imesoma. E, e. But sasa kama hiyo auxiliary battery ime fail haiwezi soma. So you first of all have to jump start the auxiliary battery so that you can allow it to charge. Haya tukafanya hivyo what happens next? It throws so many error codes. You have to clear those error codes. So it's a big deal. It it needs people need education on EVs. Si aziko tu plug and play. Ara kama the cost iko chini compared to The cost of acquisition is very high. Iko juu. Kununua EV. Right now ni Sunleaf kwani kununua unanunua used. Umetumika 8 years. Kuje ianze kufia battery hapa. Unaanza ku import tena. Unaanza ku import I think right now we should be working on infrastructure, yeah. technical expertise yeah. before we can start and even 
wewe ukiwa na hivi unaweza toka hapa uende Moyale Bamburi hata hata piece of mind like in fact the idea of kupita juja inakushtua inakushtua tu So if they are saying we achieve electric mobility within urban regions mm. it will make sense. Ama uambie mtu wako na pikipiki ya ya hiyo ya charging atoke atoke kitengela apeleke kitu roaka. Nafikiria ita haiziana na rudi. Hadi ta kuona mbali. So yes people are promoting green mobility and electric mobility but why are we Mbona you know kwenye nimetoka wanasema unaruka kabla ya kamba ama eh so we need to take time we take time. also need the infrastructure another important issue infrastructure mm-hmm. na training ya watu exactly yeah ina hiyo ni awareness so yeah. to reduce taxes see it is solution it is not a solution now they have increased the uh, import duty ya magari imefika 35% actually sasa kuna vitu mingi sana zingeongezeka si didi sasa hii imefika wapi demio sasa hii kama una 1.35 what honda fit 1.4 1.35 there basically to own a good car in Kenya you have to be a millionaire what hizo ni gari zenye tukona nunua 600 yes 600 alto sasa hii ni 800 alto 666 Hey So after ume uh, kuna CRSP hiyo inaitangwa CF4 uh, C- yeah. CIF CIF mm. After you shall even you unalipa duty then Sasa CIF lazima ulipe Japan ndio gari kuji Sasa ikifika kwa at the port of entry which mostly is Mombasa mm. you have to pay duty Apart from duty Unajua watu mostly wanaangalia anga import duty peke but there are other fees there, there is the clearing charges there is the CFS charges there is also the kuna to costs radiation kuna to to cost nyingine huko chini chini so you know inflate the price in energy mm-hmm. now mtu anataka kununua gari kama hiyo Eric first time car owner utamadvise aje kijana mdogo income yake ni unstable lakini hataka kuona gari Asuke financing ama financing unajua we first of all you cannot qualify for bank financing if you have an unstable income. Sasa tuseme income yake ni 100,000. 100,000 unaweza unajua the thing is ni kujipanga. Kama ni gari yako ya kwanza anza if you have the money anza na foreign used if you don't anza na local used. Number plate ni nataka lipa Ah, namba vile mimi sema namba niliachia kiatu. Eh? Namba KYP. Eh, mimi KYP. Na sina pressure. Mpaka yeah. nasema the older the better. Because I what do you want in a car? Unajua hiyo ndio swali mtu ujiulize ya kwanza. Ni nini nataka kwa gari pa Amerika? Kama mimi nasa point A to B shughuli zangu nikiingia niko sawa. Eh, namba plate na affect kwenye hiyo gari inaenda ama ya ni opinion ya wengine. Exactly. So are you pleasing people or do you want a car for your convenience? So si wangwana, wangwana wakiniona nimeweka kasamosa. And then that's where most young people are failing. Tunua magari not out of necessity but out of peer pressure. Eh. Si si ndio unahitaji sana but peer pressure you know na plan yamekuwa. Kwa na gari zaida mimi nataka kununua. Na labda wewe hata una work from home mm-hmm. gari unatumianga once per week then ujua gari ni recurrent expenditure kuna cost of insurance kuna cost of fuel cost of maintenance so ukinunua hiyo gari for the next for for the for the time you have that car there are those accompanying costs that are coming with the car eh yani ni kama umewa bibi mwingine umeongeza eh, umeongeza <laughs> umeongeza bills eh Ungeza bills. So for the time if you really interested in purchasing a vehicle. Mi huwa nawaambia make your savings at least be 60% of the value of the vehicle that you want to buy. And the event you are not uh, able to buy maybe ex Japan. 
nunulia mtu hapa la ofari mm. ita wakabi ita fulani eri eri waku ulipe yoka commission eri eh. ulipe muangalie gari kuliko kimbere mbere mtu ende ugongo upewa gari mbaya juu soko ni chafu hapa ni kunoma <laughs> so, soko ni chafu kila mtu anatafuta pesa hii Nairobi bali utaletoa gari hapo imejileta lakini kujitoa ni hii the last week nili nilikuwa na incident one of our good friends alienda tu unajua ile and these are problems that we have with the youth mm. unataka kutushtua umenunua gari wa kaenda kauzia Mazda CX-5 diesel 2012 Unajua hiyo gari ilimkwamia expressway akiwa ametoka kununua. Sasa hii gari inataka nje. Aliamua ukanyaga expressway hata akuiki na hey. ndio I feel. Sasa hii gari inataka nje. Akuwa na pre pre what pre. Yenda kutoshtua. Si lazima angadilike mm. yako sawa. After that ndio unaanza kusikia. Anaanza kunipigia mazimu. Mimi kwa nikamwambia he nipigie ukitoka expressway. Yeye sasa hapo unajua express ni gari kustall ni ngori. Ni ngori. Na tena ni charges zingine. Yeah, exactly. Those are they are cost fair, huge costs, huge fines. Ukakata hiyo maneno. Kaambia wewe wewe ukitoka nipigie. Mm. Kwa kaniambia yeye ameniambia wewe gasket, kaambia gari bwana hiyo gari hata si gasket. Hiyo gari nataka nje. Akanunua gasket, akawekea. Unajua people don't listen. Mm. Gari haiko start head in a so so they should find uh, individuals who have the experience eh hey. skills wamwangalilie hey. gari ju watu huku nje wanafanywa mbaya watu pamirik wanafanywa mbaya na wengine hawasemi na hawasemi panayo tu zinaweza uko unataka kushtua watu eh una una alama jua for was wanaume wanda una unakufa nayo tu pole pole hapa inakuumiza tu kiwe umenyamaza yeah. so Eric mwingine hapo tulikuwa tunaongelelea about reposition there is a high rate of reposition of vehicles what is the issue and how can we manage maneuver that i think people people need to understand their finances because before committing to to loans yeah. understand your finances wewe hii kitu It all boils down to financial education. Financial intelligence. Financial intelligence. Kama saa hii mimi mahali nimefika, yeah. mimi gari probably gari, you know it's it's a smart way to buy a vehicle through a loan. It's actually a very smart way, but it's very smart only if you understand your incomes very well. Mm. And then where are you getting your finances from? Let me tell you, first of all if you cannot If you cannot qualify for a loan from a bank chances are you are not credit worthy hata ukiona unao hiyo gari uko kwa hoja ma ulikuwa unataja hiyo gari itachoto utamaliza kulipa so kujipima enda bank enda bank unajua kama uko credit worthy eh ukisikia bank wamekwambia hapo una hapa kuna venye unajua yeah. sababu pia haya purchase watu wanachoto sana unajua You know before you commit to usiwahi nunua gari juu ya pressure I mm. tell people that usiwahi nunua gari juu ya nini ya pressure juu ya pressure kama uko na elfu yako 300 when you feel comfortable tafuta kagari ka elfu 300 endesha endesha gari jua na hute ujui kesho itakuwaaje basi sasa uko na elfu yako 300 unataka kununua gari ya mita so ukuwe na deni ya elfu 700 na si hadi ni biashara unafanya si lori unanunua kwa KDN. Ni utaka KDN. Hayo ni yoyo yoyo by the way yoyo ni eventually itakuwa reprocessed. Itakuwa reprocessed. No, Eric, let's come back to auto select. Auto select. Talk to us about auto select and that. Auto select is basically an experience. It's a concept that is based towards sourcing cars whose quality is verified and certified. Now that is why for us we like listening to the clients first. Tell us what you want, what your budget is. We literally have a conversation around your car needs. Sababu pia unapata kuna wasi wengi hawajui nini wanataka. Mm. Unataka kununua CX5 Junior na mtu mwingine naye. But sasa why would you would Pamirik buy a Markex because Wakabi has a Markex na Pamirik anaenda 2 kilometers a day. 
you see so auto select basically we start by understanding your needs mm -hmm. now that's why ukikuja you, there is a form you fill so from there we eh wezi nunua kuja tu uze unataka ya lazima ujaze form kwanza tuone what are your needs what do you want what is your budget then we can start discussing the models you can sababu mm. most Kenyans right now don't know what they are they 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 are buying not because they require a car but you hataki kushindwa na mtu yeah. and you know that often results to very bad financial decisions so mtu akifika hapa anakunywa maji ana relax ana relax tuna tunapiga story kwa anze kwanza gari anataka ya nini na umsaidie yani to the latter to the latter to the latter kama anataka kuimport tuna import tuna letter kama anataka kununua kwa source locally tuna source locally so it's basically that's why i say auto select is is an experience mm. it's it's a it's a concept to help you know the car you know ni kama counseling wewe mm. ushaisikia kuna watu wanaenda kuoa mzee anakuambia ah huyo ni wewe unaoa lakini hapo 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 sioni sioni vizuri So it's always good ours is more consultative. Mm -hmm. We listen to your needs first then match a car to your personality because we do not people most people do not understand cars and that is something I've come to realize. Mm -hmm. You're buying a car but you forget that there are other facts like insurance. Insurance is not cheap. Fueling is not cheap. Maintenance is not cheap. Kwa nini mimi nisumbuane na kukimbizana na Pamuri wakati mimi naweza nunua ka 100 kangu vizuri na bado katakuwa nipeleka job asubuhi na nganirudisha nyumbani bila shida yote sina deni ya mtu i have not strained my savings na niko tu sawa kuna yeye yenye ina trend hapa nje should we buy a car first ama a plot first ka ama ploti i always tell people something there are things that you should know kuna kitu inaitwa hierarchy of needs aya pamiri kama toka hapa ameenda amenunua ka ploti huko 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 kuna itwa katani si ndio lakini hana pesa ya kujenga so utaka hapo miaka 5 na pro ploti imekaa si ndio so itakuwa inakusaidia aje appreciate appreciating you know appreciating first of all there, there are there are things that people need to understand about what is appreciating and what is do, do not mistake inflation for appreciating ama 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 a currency losing value to appreciating do you know that sai kama kuna mtu alinunua premium premium to 60 2 years ago alinua 1.6 ana user sai hiyo gari kama alinua 2 2 years ago probably hiyo ni gari ya tuko 2023 probably hiyo ni gari ya 2013 si ndio hiyo gari ya 2013 ku kuuza sai tu pia utatajiwa mabei kama hizo but does it mean that the vehicle has not depreciated it has depreciated because 1.6 sai ya that time ime dollar that time ilikuwa so ama 90 something dollar sasa hii ni 150 so our uh, current has lost value it has lost value same case with land for for you to say that land appreciates you have it it is very strategic land lazima ukuwe na development eh, develop eh bana wewe unasema wewe ndiye na kuwa umenunua shamba huko mali unaitwa olomora ndugu zipili Alafu useme ina ina inapreciate pre sangapi. Huko wale unaweza una you see what happened. Hao watu wameuziwa maplot juu na unue. Wakauziwa plot huko msituni. Ambao zita appreciate. What is happening? Unaenda hata plot unapeleka title deed bank bank inakuambia eh. Hii hapa. Hana wanaki kufanya valuation. Eh wanaki kufanya valuation. Eh? If you talk about appreciation of land, you need to be very very specific on where the land is i i i say right now family assuming kwa na watoto watu wawili sawa they they need you have movement needs because today a car is not 
is no longer a luxury. Sai gari bana kama unafanya biashara vieko ni ni convenience it's a tool of convenience. Si tare tena. Si tare bana sai ni nataka ni, ni masa. You know you know so sasa assuming pamere kuko na biashara na kuru na uko na biashara Naivasha na Nairobi. You have to go around supervising those business even basically kukosangi vitu za kufanya so you have to have constant supervision utaenda unua plot huko kwa itango wa maraigushi huko huko na naivasha huko ndani una invest eh, una invest no i think we can think better than than wajui hizi ni vitu tuliambiwa kitambo tukaambiwa ndio kuwa lazima kuwa na plot hapana these days there are businesses that are even giving more returns than than a plot in fact mm-hmm. chances are sahi kujenga na ku, kukuwa na plot it's good to have a home i'm not dis- dismissing that fact lakini there is something we call dead capital umeenda umenunua shamba kamulu umejenga you have spent 7 million that whole transaction sindio mm-hmm. you 7 million uko sure haitaki kurudishia pesa kwa hapo sasa hiyo ni yako ya kuonyeshana huko ni kwangu hiyo mm-hmm. 7 million ungeenda pamoja ni kuongeza stock ya saa ya 7 million na use in 3 months mm-hmm. your stock ikurudishia say even 30% mm-hmm. profit of 7 million so by the time alafu pia ujue ukijenga there is downtime mm-hmm. wewe ukinunua stock unaanza kuuza immediately so we need to think outside the box the days for traditional investments are gone kama sasa hivi nikipata milioni saba sasa hivi naenda naana kuzungua huko ama auction nikitafuta gari za deal by april nimeuza zote kila gari imekupatia 200 200 wewe kaa hapo na plot yako you are investing in investing yes ikifika ile tayari unataka unajua ukinunua unajenga au ununui kai exactly chukula mimi ununui na kai alafu tena fabric kama unaweza reinvest hiyo pesa na iko inakupatia income You see ukishajenga umejenga. Mm. Why don't I rent nyumba nyumba mzuri? Yaani rent mahali kama mahali gated community. Mahali na lipa 70,000 a month. Hiyo nyumba ikinibona toka naenda. Naenda ingine. Wewe umejenga Kamulu ukiona hiyo distance ni ndefu unakuja tena ku rent hapa unakuja ku rent <laughs> Doni na ama Rawaka. Unaacha nyumba yako Kamulu wiki umeachia jamaa wa kazi aishi huko ndani unaifanya ya Airbnb ndani ya nenda ya Airbnb kamulu ba ya Airbnb zikorwa kazi ko you know so we need to have ndio unirudi kusema financial intelligence ni muhimu ni muhimu sana sasa hivi tunaita hata ukiwa shule ama ukiwa wapi financial intelligence is very important in every sector pamirik let me ask for 7 million unaweza enda ujuanze kujenga nyumba which will take one year kuisha Unaweza ingia kwa auction unue magari saba. Si ndio? Mm. Za 1700 then 3 million ya kuamsha registration. Sio ni 10 million. Hizo mm. magari within 6 months zimebaki. Hata mm. assuming zikupatie pesa kidogo 200 200 200. For 10 cars hiyo ni pesa ngapi? 2 million na trust me yule jamaa alianza kujenga hata hajafika nusu ana labda ndio amekaliwa sana na na, na feeling ndio alinunua shamba yenye kukinyesha maji inajaa wengine hata ni fear fear hii gari unaweza nunua kosa kwenda hakuna hata shamba unaweza nunua so ni risk kuto kila kitu ni risk hata wewe kutoka nyumbani huko jua utarudi unaweza toka hapo ugongo na pikipiki <laughs> <laughs> you risking you risking <laughs> eh? but one thing calculated <laughs> risks and uh, in financial intelligence very important financial intelligence is very important that's why you see people making kuna wave kuna watu by the way ni kitu watu wanafawajue kuna vijana wamenunua ma Audi sana between 20 2021 na 2020 2022 were late Hizo mm-hmm. magari sasa hivi ukienda kwa showrooms mingi unapata Audi nyingi sana za 2013 2014. Mm-hmm. 
Why? Because most of these boys mm. bought these cars not knowing what they are getting themselves into. Nafika mahali unaona hii gari itanimaliza. Alinunua don't you ya pressure? Pressure. Ama ju umesikia kwa kanibalisha hauti ni kali. Eh basi. Au kutaka kuangalia order fit. Au kutaka kuona review ya order fit. Exactly. Alistick na review ya. Au yeah. Because I am telling you we are making very bad decisions because of lack of emotional intelligence. Mm. Kuna vitu do kuna swali unataka kujiuliza do I need a car or do I want a car? Nana na I want. Wewe unaenda na I want. Wewe ndio na I need. Labu kile kule mbele. Naona we. Unaona pamrika anasema welcome guys tuko na hizi hapa zinaoshania. <laughs> Unaona gari zao kwa public show. Wanaanza kuniambia hizi magari ziko na spirits. Ah bana, hakuna wanalia. Wewe wacha nikuambie. Baye never usiwai ogopa kununua gari ya auction. Wanasema ziko na spirits. Spirits gani? Mtu alinyang'anya analia. Analia ni yeye hakulipa deni ya wenyewe. Mbona basi wanaekelea hivi? Na wana create hiyo kasumba. Eh magari za auction. Hapana. Ni mabaya. Hapana. No, 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 no. First of all kuna mtu you see before ufikiwe kunyang'anywa wa gari mtu yes atalia because of the loss but that loss is because somebody make a decision made a decision that ama pia biashara haiku account well mm-hmm. but at, at the end of it all in life everything is a transaction Kweli wongo everything is transactional Unakuja kuoa bibi unamwambia wewe nataka uku unakaa kwangu nataka unizalie watoto 1 2 3 alafu yeye anakuuliza wewe na wewe utanifanyia nani It's a transaction partnership Eh yeah. Wewe ukilipa mahari saa hii alafu bibi aende mkosane mfanye divorce au lewe na na kamera pa man watu hapa Utaanza kusema wewe bibi yako na spirit No it Una is just Unapali business ikwenda vizuri Ikwenda vizuri <laughs> <laughs> So in the event hata mwenye anaona pale kwa auction ukiona gari na auction haina spirit haina spakula kama hiyo mafuta kwa Ezekiel ah bana bana it's purely transactional mtu na mwenye kuna wengine wanakataa kununua hizi za kubeba maiti ah mmm wanasema hizi gari hapana hapana pamoja kile unaweka kwa auction hiyo hapana inabeba maiti sasa sasa you know wewe ile gari umenunua yenye imekubeba. Hii pambi ikikubeba na gari yangu leo uko jua aje hivi siko nimebeba maiti gani? Sisi sijui sasa hii najua. Sasa kumaanisha ilikuwa na swara juu unajua. Kujua ndio big deal. Sababu hiyo hasi kichukuliwe ikonvertiwe itolewe hizo ipigwe rangi ya white wako hapo utanunua. Sasa wewe utanunua tu ya ujui. Ujui ujui. But there are so many misconceptions. Si maneno ya gari ilikuwa inabeba. Gari ni gari bwana. Engine ni ni, ni ile four stroke nini? Maiti yanafanya nini kwa four stroke? Because how do you say gari ilikuwa inabeba maiti? Kwa nini amazamangi gari za nyama zimebeba hizi? Kwa nini ngombe ni ngombe yamechinjwa ni nini? Atatambui mnyama. <laughs> kwa nini wanyama hawana feelings? Hai. <laughs> ni hiyo na ni stress Eric kuna hii as we are rising eh? kuna hii issue ya government in auction uh, magari hata za 1979 in auction gari za 1999 tena in auction gari ya 205 na in auction gari latest maybe zingine za 2017 2016 yenye imepigwa at the same time wameweka couplet ya miaka 8 years They are auctioning wreckages gari zenye mbovu hata wengine wanasema hiyo ikatakatwa lakini wameweka hii engine is it a good idea for them to do kuongea kweli mambo ya serikali yetu ni ngumu eh? mambo ya serikali ni ngumu because the, the, the importation cap ah, i normally say ni, ni vizuri hata wakisema tunue gari unajua right now What what I, I would like to understand mostly from cabs mm. is what is their basis on the age limit for cars mostly they say it's pollution mm. that is their main lakini 
ukiingia hapa hizi ma- mashoro mziko Mombasa road zinauza magari zero mileage do you know they are selling even euro zero vehicles so kwa nini sinunua gari euro 6 ya 2012 na hapa nikiunua gari zero mileage ya 2023 ni, ni euro zero. it has worse ambitions kushinda gari for 14 years old meaning vingine za hapa Kenya uichukue tu ipeleke euro haiwezi haiwezi pita wacha a few most of them azita pita haiwezi use europe it cannot be exported to europe or japan or any developed country so that means Emission is not the big deal kwa mtu mwenye so mimi amao fikiria si mambo na emission. Si mambo na emission. So that's why I always ask them we need to know the basis because clearly it's not emissions. Ah they say ni employment. They want to... the used car market ha, creates a lot of employment. Angalia wase wako Kirinyaga road. Angalia vijana wenye ni mabroka Mombasa na hii Nairobi ni wangapi? Angalia wale vijana wanafanya riveting. Angalia wale vijana wanafanya number plate uh, binding. Angalia wale watu wanafanya ma DPF delete. Huh? So who is fooling who? You know that's what we need to understand. Uh, Because the used car market is actually creating more employment. Kushinda kwa ni, ni vijana wangapi wameajiliwa KVM? Ni wachache. Hii ina employ hard mtu hanja hata aenda shule. Uh, Na ulizo wewe unaweza chomelea exhaust. Uh, Kuja hapa. Wewe unaweza tengeneza hii binding ya number plate. Shika chuma ni tengeneza. Huza. So ina create a bigger pool. It, it creates way a lot Ingine of money. Ni ku tu. Ni ku limit. So still we need clarification at the end of. We need clarification. We need to know what is the basis. Hata unafaa utafute hao watu wa kebs. Walete hapa. Watu waambie which basis are they using? because they they never want to ask the hard questions or to answer the hard questions kama kuna big fish wanakula hapo tu somewhere mambo ya Kenya ni ngumu sana mambo ya Kenya ni ngumu sana because in the US if a car is more than 25 years old you can import it as a classic car mm. so in short hapo kuna big question I think the problem we have is legislation and, and policy making. Yeah. Watu wanafanya policy making, huwezi ambia mtu anakaa kwa kwa, kwa ofisi 8 to 5 aende akafanye policy making kuhusu mtu anauza spare skin They have no idea. They clearly have no idea. There is a complete disconnect. Atapewa tu one information na nani? Na hata mwenye anampatia yeah. information anafanya yeah. kazi 8 to 5 kwa ofisi. Eh, kazi yao tu ni kwenda kunywa chai na mandazi. Na kulipwa sitting allowance. Watajua aje mambo ya Kirenyaga road. Stress tu bro. Eh. So Eric. Um on my side eh. We are e conversation eti hizi isha. Hizi isha. Hizi isha. Sida ni mingi. Maneno ni mingi. But uh, from where you are sitting. There is someone who wants to start either YouTube want to start the business in a particular way what do you what advice would you tell them because wengine unaona mtu ameamua assuming ni youtube because most of the our viewers are youtubers mtu ana anakuwa discouraged anajaribu yeye ai work anajaribu yeye work at the same time kwa mwingine anaanza biashara nyingine on your side of youtube and your side of business what would you tell such a person first of all be passionate about what you do hiyo ni kitu ya muhimu sana Don't do content yenye huwezi sustain. Hiyo ni kitu hiki. Usifanye content huwezi sustain. Make sure unafanya content hata ukipata tu subscribe wewe kesho unajibamba. Eh. Unaelewa? Kama hujibambi, kama you cannot afford to do it as a hobby, wacha na nani? Utakuwa frustrated. Utakuwa frustrated bwana. That's why even for us we just we do content. We give it the best we can whatever happens it happens sabu so, there is there is kuna illusion of learning youth wako nayo that ukianza channel na peak instantly hata mm. unaona kuna content nyingine mbaya sana huko nje because people are doing it to get to get uh, probably for clout 
haiwezi wa akili but as long as you're consistent you love what you're doing you're passionate about it utapata msia na relate na content yako but one thing i'll tell you it cannot happen in a day it cannot happen in a year it has to take time patience patience a lot of patience business wise what would you tell someone who is starting business first of all it's not easy hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza kumwambia najua sisi wengine wetu tuliacha kazi tukifikiria ukitoka huko nje utapata freedom unapata from kule job kulikuwa na vitu zinaitwa leave days kulikuwa na sijui unaweza call in sick bwana ukiwa biashara yako you cannot call in sick unajipata uko hapo mpaka 9 you cannot call in sick hakuna leave you work 24 hours a day 367 365 days in a year sababu sasa hata sasa hii family kupigiwa deals utapichukua sim but business is good you are able to control your output only fanya biashara unaelewa that's hiyo kitu yeye naambia anga watu fanya biashara unaelewa if, if you do not understand a business stay away from it usichochwe usichochwe na mtu usichochwe na mtu kuna watu waliambiwa eh hey, waruzi na uzo wa pesa mingi Kampala wakaingia kina ngopo wakaweka FH mzima 10 tons Kampala kwa hiyo Kampala unaambiwa waruzi yes kuna demand ya waruzi lakini tunakaza red zile za molo <laughs> na roli cha isha kuja utafanya so learn business fast before, before you can venture ah. mm-hmm. na ukiweza fanya biashara yenyewe you feel passionate about So, finally by that. What's the future holds for Eric Okabi and his team? The future na sasa you know future is very unpredictable but basically kuna vitu nataka kufanya. Uh one thing is mentoring. Mayanga just to afika mali tazeka bana. Sai kazi mekuwa hii ni ya vijana. So one is mentorship. Secondly is probably try and create an impact in the motoring industry yeah. make make sure that people are able to, to acquire cars affordably mm. maintain them and also let them know whether they need a car or they want a car we want to change the the actually our part of our goal is to change the car ownership journey from being a transaction to being an experience Yaani tuache kukuwa ati kauna ship gari ni pamu recommend pale kwa yada menua gari. Mm. We want it to start by understanding the wants, mm. relating to the buyer, making sure we get the right car for the right person. Uh, offer after sales so that especially for new car owners gari si wakalie sana usi usikaribishwe na Nairobi kwa upande ya spares. So make it a journey. It's it's not a transaction, it's a relationship. That is that is the future that is what we, we look forward to and also we look forward to embracing technology whatever comes pia tuna tuna look forward to even kusaidia serikali kufikiria vitu hivi ngine unajua hii kazi ni ngumu so wakituita pia tunawapatia consultancy yeah. i believe you are the guys who understand this industry more than they do that is true yes and they should be looking on their side exactly wasifanye assumptions that uh, Assumptions are not good. Thank you so much, Eric. Asante sana. Really Nalo, next time sana. Watch ingine, watch. Eh? <laughs> <Mara> <laughs> like next time later watch nyingine banana mini niongeza watch. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you sana kwa ku watch for that long and um, guys asam, uh, watch guys sana kwa ku watch for that long and guys asam winding out and winding up. I really appreciate Eric sana. He, we have been in this uh, area. He welcomed me mwezi wa 5 as I said to discuss and now I'm here. Nimemuitisha sana na amefika tumepiga show sana. So thank you so much Eric. And guys, subscribe to Eric's channel Pale Conversation. Ako 150 something thousand to fika so mbili alafu mu subscribe kwa Pamrek Show. Tusukume ifike 100,000. Kabisa, kabisa. Ni wewe innocent ni kusukumana and uh, Hopefully zote tupatane at the top. In whatever you are doing, God will open doors and never give up. According to Eric Wakabi, make sure you have financial intelligence and ensure that in anything that you do, consult the skilled professional. Kabisa. Yes. Asante sana. Sir, thank you so much. Sir.